Hello and welcome back to Third Degree Food. I am Sam Catra and yes, that is my real name. Today on the agenda is donuts. Now we're gonna be cooking two different types of donuts today, from the American ring donut with a beautiful glaze over the top, all the way through to the most incredible, super simple, very humble but unctuous and delicious English jam donut. So without further ado, I'm gonna run you through the ingredients. We've got here 300 grams of strong white bread flour, 125 ml of full fat milk, seven grams of dried yeast, 40 grams of golden caster sugar, two organic eggs, we've got some melted uh, salted butter, and we've got the humble nutmeg. So what we're gonna do is gonna put our flour into a bowl, just like so. And then we're gonna add our sugar into the bowl. And we'll just mix these up together, just incorporate them, just because it helps with the recipe. Next, we're gonna add our butter and our yeast. And then we're gonna go in with our milk. This is just a one bowl mix really. It's very simple, you can chuck it all in. Bear with me. And we go in with the eggs. One egg. Two eggs. Chuck it all in a bowl, give it a good old whisk, and we are good to go. So then we go in with our nutmeg as well. Just half a nutmeg would do. And then we go in with our whisk. You're gonna to wanna to keep some flour on the side as well because some flours absorb a lot of water or milk or moisture and some don't. So uh, just keep that to hand on the side. We have to work this for a while because you wanna build the gluten So now that's all incorporated, we're going to switch to our dough hooks and start working it nicely all together to make a lovely sticky dough. Get it all nicely mixed in. Activate that gluten. Get all stuff on the side. Now, when it gets a little bit more flour, because the mix is a little bit sticky, A bit too sticky, I should say. You want a sticky mix. Just augment that slightly with that. And we go in. Just mix it all in the bowl. Activate that gluten. You want to be doing this for about five minutes or so, maybe a little bit more. And there we see. That will do for now. And then we're going to turn this out onto our surface. And we're just gonna give it a little fold and return it to the bowl to prove for about an hour, hour and a half. It's lovely and sticky, look at that. That's exactly what you want. This is the consistency right there that you want for your dough. Okay, so we lightly flour our surface. We'll get the donut batter out. 
Very sticky, you see. I'm going to work this just a little bit so it becomes more malleable, more pliable. And let them rest so they become lovely and light. So just turn those over, like so, get some flour on the fingers. A bit like the pizza dough. Okay, we'll just get all this stuff out of here. Add it to the mix. You can use a stand mixer, but for the purpose of showing you at home how easy this is, I'm using a hand blender. There we are. Nice. Okay. It is quite a sticky dough, which is exactly what you want for donuts. I'll just wash this bowl out and then we'll put it to the side to rest. So, because the dough is so sticky, you need to add a little bit of vegetable oil to the bowl to stop it sticking whilst it proves. You want it to basically double in size. Let's massage that up the side. Rub our fingers so the dough doesn't stick. Give it a nice little turn for the last little bit. Pick up all the bits, the extra bits there. And a bit like pizza dough, you want to make a nice little ball. That's exactly what we want, really. That is exactly where we want to be with our dough. Nice and malleable, nice and sticky. And we plonk that in the bowl, and then we'll get our shower cap and place that over the top and let it sit there for about an hour, hour and a half until it has doubled in size. So there is the dough for our donuts. Um, I will be back in about an hour there or thereabouts after it has proved and doubled in size. And then we'll go on to the next step. See you shortly. As you can see, our beautiful dough has doubled in size. And now it's time to roll it out and cut it into shapes for our donuts. So without further ado, we're gonna move over to this work surface. We're gonna drop a little bit of oil on here, give a little rub because you don't want your dough to stick. It is very sticky. Just liberally apply that. And then we turn it out our dough, like so. Place that in the sink. And I'm gonna show you a really nice little tip how to store your donuts whilst they reprove for another half an hour before you fry them. So let's roll out our dough to about a centimeter thick. There or thereabouts. And the good thing about this dough is you can re-roll and reuse it. So we're gonna take our first cut, try to go too close to the edge. There's one donut there. And we'll place that onto our proving rack. And go for the next one. These will be for our jam donuts and possibly a chocolate with uh, custard filling as well. So we'll do four of these. Just place them nice and gently. And then we'll do another one. We'll use all this up and then we'll re-roll what is left. Okay. Take the other side. And I use another middle cutter to make the hole for the uh, ring donuts. Push down. There we have it. Pop that out, place it over here. Just pop out the middle. You don't have to be too precise with this. Okay, when what's left, we'll just gather up 
and reform it and then re-roll like I say you don't have to be too precise it all comes together rather nicely take the next one middle I think we'll probably get nine or ten donuts out of this just mally it around with your hands a couple more rolls and whilst we set these to side to rest for another half an hour We'll then make our fillings for the donuts. So another one. Maybe get one more. You can use flour, but it changes the hydration of the of the dough. Let's get one in more in there. There we go. And then we'll go for one more hold ring donut. And there we have it. We'll just place this on the rack to rest. Here we have our delicious donuts. They're going to sit on the tray for about half an hour. So what we need to do is cover them with cling film so they can rise nicely and not dry out, like so. And place a damp towel over the top as well. And we'll put these to one side in a warm place for half an hour. So our donuts are proving in the oven. I've got a really good proving setting on my oven, 30 degrees for half an hour. If not, just leave them somewhere nice and warm. Now it's time to work on our fillings and toppings for our donuts. For the traditional English jam donut, all you need is some sugar and some raspberry jam or strawberry jam, whatever you like. I've got some seedless raspberry jam in this syringe. I've got this syringe off Amazon. The link is down below if you wanna get hold of one. They're really handy for basting meats, porks, beefs, you name it, and also very handy for putting the filling in your donut. I'm uh, also going to do a sort of medium chocolate with a delicious custard filling. All my recipes for custards, ice creams, and what have you, are available on thirddegreefood.com. And then for the ring donuts, for the American original glaze, we're going to make a delicious glaze using uh, three tablespoons of icing sugar. We've got some vanilla essence, a little bit of milk, and we're going to coat a couple of those in there. And then when we're done, we're going to do two donuts with a little bit of a maple flair, which we're going to add to the rest of the mix in here. So without further ado, let's get started on mixing up our topping. So into our icing sugar, add a good dash of milk. You might, I'll hold some back because you might need some more. Just mix that round. The more icing sugar you have, the thicker your glaze will be. Add some of the vanilla essence now. Just a teaspoon in there. We'll incorporate that together. Start to thicken really nicely. It smells amazing. Fabulous. Like I say, the more icing sugar you have, the thicker it will be. And we're going to submerge our donuts into this so they get an all over coating of this incredible glaze. Just break down those little bits of icing sugar. They will break down anyway as they sip. These are as close to Krispy Kreme as you can get. It's all to do with the cooking temperature and the proving time. But this recipe right here, 
icing sugar, milk, and vanilla essence is the original glaze. Oh, this comes together really nicely. Okay, it's nicely broken down. So we'll put it to one side until we fry our donuts. That can just sit there really nicely. And like I say, we're gonna add some maple to the last two just to give a little on the flavor. So next up, we need to make our chocolate topping for two of the donuts that we're gonna do, a little variation to the whole round donuts we have. Um, and that involves basically making a bain-marie, which is a little bit of boiling water in a saucepan above, just sit a nice little glass bowl. Just not boiling too much, just heating through. And then we get our chocolate. This is a 50% chocolate from Green and Blacks. It just works really well with desserts. And we're just gonna break it up and put it into the bowl and let it melt really slowly. This tempers the chocolate and allows it to just set on top of the donuts when you dip them in the juicy chocolate. Just drop that in there. Willing that it doesn't have to be too small, it all melts anyway. And the good thing about the 50% chocolate, it doesn't get all bitty. Some of the 70% have really grainy uh, texture, but the 50% is really nice and smooth and it's still got that bite to it like dark chocolate has. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab a spoon and we're gonna move this around in here just so it gets an even melting. As soon as the last bit melts, you take it off the heat. See, it's melting really nicely now, really quickly. And you're just gonna grab your donut, dip it in there, take it out, and it will cool and set nice and hard because you're tempering the chocolate here. going to be fantastic and then what we're going to do we're going to slice once the, the chocolate's on the top we're then going to slice the donuts through the middle and pipe them full of this delicious custard let it do its thing get that in the bin like i said just until the last bit is melted and then we'll take it we don't need to take the temperature of this it's on a really low low temperature you don't need to get up to 56 or 65 degrees either there we go and that can just sit on the side the bowl will keep it warm until you dip your donuts in them because next up we're about to fry our donuts well welcome back it is now time to fry our donuts i have here uh, a deep fat fryer which is really handy to use it controls the temperature really well you want to fry it around 160, 170 degrees, so you don't overcook them and they go too dark, but also you get a nice cook through them. Uh, you're also gonna need a cooling rack with some kitchen towel and a spatula. And a few things you need to be aware of, it is quite hot, be very careful. If you haven't got a deep fat fryer, you can use a, a saucepan with some oil in it and a thermometer. It's quite important to make sure your temperatures don't drop below 160, otherwise you'll have a soggy donut. I think first of all, we're gonna go in with the jam donuts and, the, and the, the whole donuts, shall we say. So what we do is we just offer it up to the, uh, up to the oil and just sit that in there. Get two in at a time, I think. Just pop you in there. And if you noticed, I've cut these, um, part the parchment, just so they hold one donut each. This basically allows it to be more malleable. Remember, you can catch all our recipes on thirddegreefood.com and get all our merchandise as well at shop.thirddegreefood.com. We've got trivets, t-shirts, aprons, gloves, the lot, you name it. And obviously, if you've got a minute, please do give us a little like and subscribe and smash that notification bell for future videos. And of course, please do leave a comment, good or bad, it's all good to me. Uh, I'll take it all on board and uh, let me know what recipes you have for donuts as well. It's always good to learn as we go. Anyway, back to the donuts. And they need to be turned right now. So, flip you over. So, our last two donuts are ready. 
they look absolutely fantastic and smell absolutely divine the nutmeg is really coming through and that's the difference with donuts that's what you have with your Krispy Kremes a little bit of nutmeg in the in the batter these are so very light indeed as well okay so now we need to turn off our fryer now that our donuts are out and resting and chilling we need to get our topping sorted out so I've got a the baking tray here just lined it with um, some kitchen towel because it's going to catch all the drips of all the toppings and fillings because it is a messy job and you don't want to be scrubbing for hours after you make your donuts you want to keep it a pleasurable experience so you grab your um, cooling rack like so I suppose we could flip it that way and just sit on top and then we're going to start with our jam donuts first so we'll grab our syringe with the raspberry jam and we'll grab our sugar so firstly we grab our donut it's nice and cooled now and just sit it in the sugar as you can see it adheres to it beautifully just here like so and then we grab our syringe and transport our donuts to the cooling rack and literally just hit it like that and fill it with jam and there we have a little bit more like so don't be shy with your jam everyone loves a jam donut and we're going with the second one like so Get a good coating of sugar on there it just sticks to it really nicely and then bring that to the cooling rack and again similar insert and squeeze lovely and there we have it two jam donuts fantastic with a cup of tea there's my tea towel next we're going to do our chocolate donuts take off the side just place that there for now just take the temperature fabulous so we'll move our sugar out of the way now there's a couple of ways of doing this but I'm just going to go in as we do and drop the chocolate and donut together and there we have it a beautiful chocolate donut which we are going to fill very shortly with um, some custard and a second donut in the warm chocolate mix look at that you can put hundreds and thousands over the top you can do what you like mm. fabulous delicious chocolate whilst they sit there I'm going to do my uh, ring donuts and then come back to it and inject the um, custard to them fabulous absolutely fabulous so now we go on to our American original glaze Krispy Kreme if you will that smells amazing the, uh, the vanilla in there with there just absolutely makes it as it should be so I'll take that over here as well I'm going to hold two back and do some maple glaze as well maybe three I'm not too sure so we go in with our first donut now we need to give it get a fork for this submerge it and give it a good turn in the in the glaze take it out and let it rest same with this one it's just delicious you can't help but lick your fingers third one go for a cooler one in here like so And there you have it loads of donuts just like that very very simple absolutely delicious you cannot say fairer than that mm. fabulous right now what we're going to do is grab some maple syrup for the rest of our glaze just a good dollop in there you can use any type of maple syrup you like I like the Clark's for this you don't have to use the organic one it gets very expensive 
mix that in there as well. Just a little addition of flavor to that. And the way we're gonna separate them, we're gonna do a little motif across the top with a bit of drizzled chocolate. So, there we are. So the first one in. The maple glaze, it's absolutely delicious. Just submerge it nicely. And then we come over this one here. Fabulous, absolutely divine. So simple, really therapeutic, and you have fantastic results at the end. Very much worth the time and effort to do. Move these slightly out. Now the last donut. In we go. Absolutely fantastic. Cannot wait to have a cup of tea and tuck into our donuts. Mmm. The maple just, it's just next level. Okay. So these three here at the bottom are our maple ones. Let's put that to one side. I'm just going to get a little bit of this chocolate. A little bit of over the top. Don't have to be too artistic. Just have to separate them from the Original glaze. Just take the time. It doesn't have to be, like I say, too specific. Just mark it up. For the people that don't like maple. Right, next up, what we need to do is put our filling in our chocolate donuts. So you're going to have to get your custard out the fridge. Mmm, bang him. Now what you need is a pair of scissors for this. And you stick them in and you cut, and you open up your donut like so, maybe a little bit wider. And then you get your custard in your piping bag. And you squeeze that in there. Absolutely incredible. Number one. Pull that down. It is a messy job but it's well worth it. Cut your donut, make a hole. And fill it with custard. Like so, fabulous. And there we have it. Some incredible donuts for your afternoon tea, very easy to make. Remember all the recipes available from Third Degree Food. I'm going to clear up the kitchen now, sit down, have a cup of tea, and enjoy my donuts. So, it is now time to sample the fruits of our labour in the shape and form of our delicious, unctuous donuts. Unfortunately, the chocolate and custard ones did not last two minutes. They were on the rack, in the belly in a couple of minutes because they are just so, so, so very good. Of course, you can catch all the recipes, thirddegreefood.com. Give us a little like, subscribe, and smash that notification bell for all future videos. And of course, please do leave a little comment, good or bad, it's all good to me, and it will all be taken on board, I assure you. So we have left over, unfortunately, because we ate the chocolate and the custard ones. We've got a delicious jam donut. We've got our original glaze, which is absolutely incredible. And we've got our maple glaze here with a little bit of a chocolate uh, accent on the top. First and foremostly, I'm going to pour a cup of rosy leek. Get that in there. And a little stir. 
I think we're going to start off with the jam donut right now. Obviously, you can see how much jam is in here by how dark it is on the bottom. I'm going in with a nice bite. Mmm. 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 There are no words. That is absolutely off the chain. All that beautiful jam oozing out. The dough. Mmm. Sweet. Fluffy. It's exactly what you want from a donut. Mmm. Delicious. Absolutely incredible. Mmm. I'm going to have a couple more bites out of that. But before I do, I'm going to go in with our original glaze. Absolutely delicious. Or our crispy cream donut, if you will. Mm. 10 out of 10. You probably would not be able to make a, a division between this and the original Krispy Kreme. They are so on point. The recipe is absolutely wicked. I highly suggest you try these at home. It only takes about an hour and a half. Mm. Excuse me for talking about my apple. They are just too, too good. And finally, our maple glaze. Now these are rather special. Not a great deal of maple syrup in the, in the mixture, but it carries all the way through and it gives it such a lovely accent of flavour. Mm. Mm. Oh my God. Mm. That is absolutely divine. You see how fluffy they are, how light they are inside. And that maple is just amazing. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I've been Sam Catra. This has been Third Degree Food, and you've been watching how to make amazing donuts. Catch you next time. <laughs>